Welcome back, Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef, and I have some really exciting news. If you have been following me, you know I've been working super hard on my very first cookbook, and I am so excited because it's available for pre-order now, and it's gonna be released on August 20th. I am just over the moon excited. So I thought it would be fun today to make one of my absolute favorite breakfast recipes from my cookbook, and that is some low-carb pizza waffles which combine two of my absolute favorite things, pizza and waffles, making it very easily and quickly one of my favorite breakfasts. So my secret ingredient for making these waffles low carb is to use cauliflower, which not only is a great filler, but it also makes it super nutritious and so yummy. So are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, and before I forget, make sure to go subscribe to this channel so you never miss my new weekly recipe videos and updates about the cookbooks and all sorts of healthy eating inspiration. Go do it right now. So cauliflower rice is one of my absolute favorite substitutions because it's clean, it's healthy, and it has a lot of added nutrients and fiber. You can make it in a ton of different ways. You can use a food processor to just pulse some florets until they resemble rice-sized pieces. You can use a cheese grater and grate your cauliflower across the cheese grater until that looks kind of like shredded cheese, but in cauliflower form. Or a really cool thing that is happening nowadays in all sorts of stores is you can buy your own frozen cauliflower rice. You can either get it frozen or fresh. All of these options are gonna work for this recipe. You just need some cauliflower that's broken into small pieces. We're gonna need about three to four cups of cauliflower rice, which is gonna be roughly the size of one large head or one pound of cauliflower. If you do buy frozen cauliflower rice, make sure to allow it to thaw on the counter before we get started so it's not frozen as you're adding it to your recipe. So in a large mixing bowl, go ahead and add your riced cauliflower followed by whole wheat pastry flour, milk of your choice, fresh mozzarella that's been diced into small pieces, uncured pepperoni that's been chopped, some eggs, and yes, a flax egg or a chia egg will work in this recipe, so you could replace the egg with either one of those. Some grated Parmesan, baking powder, sea salt, garlic powder, onion powder, dried oregano, dried basil, and some ground black pepper. And then we are gonna mix all of this together until it's very well combined. All right, so let's talk about the pepperoni because I'm betting you have some questions. Not all pepperoni is created equal, but there are some great brands out there like Applegate, Peterson's, or Vermont that have options that are free of nitrates and nitrites. They have no added sugar and they just have a lot more minimally processed pepperoni. If you wanted to replace pepperoni altogether, you could always choose like a meaty veggie and chop up some cremini mushrooms or something like that as well. If you're looking for a gluten-free option for replacing your whole wheat pastry flour, you can easily sub out cassava flour or almond flour as a one-to-one -one ratio instead of your whole wheat pastry flour. You could also use coconut flour, which is another great gluten-free flour. However, that will be very thirsty, so you will have to add some more moisture, probably two to three more eggs into the batter. Another thing you could do is to use some oat flour, though you're gonna require a little bit more oat flour, about one and a half cups to one cup of the whole wheat pastry flour. Any of those options are great. Just choose what works best for your diet. All right, now it's time to get our waffle iron and we got to grease it so our waffles don't stick to anything. So the amount of waffle batter that we're using is gonna depend on the size of your waffle iron. Mine is a pretty large one and I use about a cup of the batter. What we're looking for is to put it in the center and then spread it all the way around all of the sides. If you don't get it all the way to the sides, it will not spread like a normal waffle. So you have to make it spread by pushing some along the sides. You can always use a spoon and add a little bit more of the batter to kind of fill in all of those unfilled areas. Then we're gonna close our waffle iron and let all that magic happen. It's gonna cook for about four to six minutes, again, depending on the size of your waffle iron. You're gonna notice as it gets almost done that the amount of steam is gonna reduce significantly. You're gonna smell everything cooking. And when you open it up, it should be nice and golden brown around all the edges and release easily. Then just repeat those steps until you have all of your waffles made. To serve these delicious pizza waffles, I top them with some freshly chopped Italian parsley, a little bit more diced French mozzarella, and then a little bit of marinara sauce for dipping, because you gotta dip it. It's just how it has to happen. 
Hey, you could even use that roasted tomato sauce I just shared with you in my last video for your tasty marinara dipping sauce. Okay, so how fun are these low-carb pizza waffles? They taste amazing, they look delicious, and they're a really cool way to change up your waffles and have a delicious breakfast thanks to some really helpful, nutritious ingredients like cauliflower, whole wheat pastry flour, and all sorts of real, simple ingredients. You can grab this recipe in my brand new cookbook and get all 75 delicious and nutritious recipes that ditch processed ingredients, and you can get it right now, pre-order it on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Books A Million, Book Depository, IndieBound, and wherever books are sold. I've listed the link for you to go pre-order this cookbook so you can get all these tasty recipes and I cannot wait for you to try them. Let me know once you pre-order, send me a comment below, I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for your support and I hope you're as excited as I am. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.